OK, so we are going to start with number five. And this is going to use all those rules we talked about and they will come back to you. there now. Number five, we're going to take the ln of the fourth root of the square root of three, and of course we need a few notes, and so those notes are namely that the ln is log base e. And another note that E is about 2.7, so it's a number. Just to help anybody reading it. Okay, now the trick to doing this is one that's just a logarithm, so you're going to use the rules of logarithms. So we have to convert the fourth root to a fraction power, and it's going to be three to the one fourth, like that. And so using the rule of, the, of, of what you do with exponents that are in the argument of the function, it comes down front and multiplies the ln or the log of the base. So the answer is one fourth times the ln of and there you go. That's it. Okay, and let's write down that rule too. Um, that log base B, any base, of A to the C power is going to be C times log base B of A. And that's all there is to it. It's a rule that has to be memorized. There now. Well, no, I want to be able to show, yeah, what number it is. Okay, now you stop me if you have any questions. Okay, sounds good. And notice I've got the answers in here. All right, now number six. Oh, oh, no, go back to black. Yes. Number six, I want to do the notes in blue, but I'll probably get it all messed up. All messed up before the day is over. I'm just not good at naturally color coding. You know who was real good at color coding was Tess O'Brien. She was a teacher here for the longest time, and her color-coded notes were ex extraordinary. They were works of art. <laughs> you never got lost, because if she put something in blue, then it matched up with something else in blue. I have never been able to do what she does. The worst thing in the world is she retired. Aww. I plan to never forgive her for that. Life is so exciting right now with the pandemic and everything. I mean, you know, on the it's it's scary, but it's an interesting time to be alive, and you'll tell your grand it's going to be part of American history classes forever after this. 
and you survived it. And you could tell everybody what it's like. Oh, yeah. All the stuff that happened. OK, we have log base T of this argument and the argument consists of a fraction. So we've got a fraction rule that says, OK, th what that is going to equal is log base T of the top of the numerator minus log base T of the bottom, which is the denominator. OK, and that rule, that rule, let me pull this over. That rule is, wait a minute, oh, yeah, right. That rule is um, log base B, any base, of an argument that consists of a fraction In fact, what I ought to do is use these letters, numerator and denominator. Why didn't you stop me? Why didn't you suggest that? I mean, really. There. I'm joking. That's log base B of N minus log base B, let's pull it out more, minus log base B of D. Here. There now. Oh, I like that. All right, now we have the same thing going on over here. Number seven. We have the log of m over n. And remember, when you do not see a base down here, there is a, a base. It's 10. So the log of M over N is going to be log of M, yeah, it's a little N, M and N, minus log of N. Okay, there. And there is a base 10, but you don't have to write it. When you don't see a base, the base is 10. Just remember that. Okay, I will. Okay, are you okay? Yes. Okay, wonderful. Um, invisible, it's one of those invisible things. We have a lot of them in math, don't we? Okay. Yes. I wonder if that means we're crazy. Probably. But at least it makes us interesting. Ooh, look at number nine. Well, let's do this. And now number eight, they're spending a lot of time on this. This is the ln of m over n. And that's going to be the ln of m over, I mean over, minus the ln of n. The ln of m, that's not an m. That's an m. ln of m minus the ln of n. Where again, 
ln of anything ln means log base e. So it's just a log. Number nine, now we're getting into it. We've got the ln of x squared plus 16x plus 60 minus the ln of x plus 10. Now the instructions have changed. It says simplify the expression. And this is multiple choice. This is the answer right here, right? Oh, I, oh, I can't write on it there, but I can write on it here. That's the answer. <gasps> oh, Barbara, it's a trick question. We should fire them. I have to factor, duh, okay. All right, so we're, we're done with the easy stuff. This is going to be the ln of x squared plus 16x plus 60 over x plus 10, which now I have to factor. This is going to be the ln of Boom, 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 boom. X, X, um, plus 60, that's six and 10. Six, uh, 60 equals six times 10. And 16 equals six plus 10. So I want to use plus six, plus six and plus 10. Meanwhile, the bottom is X plus 10. And doggone, X plus 10 and X plus 10 are going to cancel. So the answer, <clears throat> answer is the LN of X plus so this is the answer right there that's marked right here. Let me make it a little bigger, bigger right there. C. Okay, now I'm prepped. Now I'm ready. You're going to be throwing stuff at me. All right, all right. Now we've got log, which is log base 10 of x squared plus 4x minus 5 minus log x squared minus 5, uh, 25. Okay, so I'm going to write it like this. I'm going to write log here, and then I'm going to put the top above this line and the bottom below. I think that's the best way. X squared plus 4X minus 5 over X squared minus 25. And now we have to factor. This is log. Um, negative 5 equals 5 times negative 1, and 5 plus negative 1 equals 4. 
So that's how we're going to factor. Boom, 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 boom. X, X. Okay, plus five, minus one, over, and X squared minus 25, both of these are perfect squares, so we're going to factor by the difference of squares. X plus five, times X minus five. And the X plus fives will cancel. And so the answer is going to be log X minus one over X minus five. Ah. Here we go. I had it, it was perfect, and I messed it up. Doggone it. All right, but we'll live with it. So here is the answer right there after we factor. Now let's see if they agree. <laughs> yes. Yay! Okay. Now. Ooh. Okay, we are going to peel the onion on this and go to a new page. And look, you're given all sorts of choices here. But the best thing to do is to ignore those just for a little while. Ignore them and just do the problem and compare your answer. To the list of possible answers below. OK, so here's what we're going to do. Now, it's the instructions say express log base B of that in terms of sums and differences of logarithms. In other words, we're going to expand the heck out of this baby right here. So. Move that over there. And then I'm going to expand this paper. This is number 11. So here we have log base B of P to the 2 2 to the 7 over M to the 3, B to the 9. And we are going to be expanding. We're going to be unpacking is what we're going to do. So log base B of P squared Q to the seventh minus log base B of M to the three B to the nine. Okay, now we're working from the outside in. So right now all we're doing is saying, well, you've got this on top and you've got that on the bottom. And so we've got log base B of the top minus log base B of the bottom. That's the first step. Now, I'm gonna put brackets around this. 
and brackets around this. Because now we're going to be dealing with some trickier stuff. This is a product. This is P to the 2 times Q to the 7. This is M to the 3 times B to the 9. So we have to use the product rule now. So what we did first, and I suppose it might be a good idea to write down quotient rule. First step was the quotient rule. Now we're going to be using the product rule. So I kind of think I'm going to have to end up moving this over a little bit. I try to keep my equal signs right under each other, except when I think I need more room. OK, log base B of P to the 2. That looks too much like a capital, doesn't it? I think those are supposed to be lower lowercase. Plus, because that's what you do when you have a product, log base B of Q to the 7 minus log base B of M to the 3 move. Ooh, there you go. Plus log base B of B to the 9. This is the product rule. Okay. Now, here we go. I have to use the power rule now. And what the power rule says is that an exponent in the argument has to come down in front and multiply the logarithm. So, we'll have 2 log times log base b of p plus 7 times log base b of q minus 3 comes down, 3 times log base b of m plus 9 times log base b of, that's not b, is it? What a stupid thing. All right, is it? It is. All right. I can see what they're after. Pretty smart. Trying to mess you up. Okay. All right, the meanest thing is they're trying to mess me up. All right, but it's not working this time, mm -mm, I hope. All right, now, this is the power rule. And we talked about that yesterday, I think. 
I know we talked about it. Might have been the day before. I think, I think it was Tuesday. Right, it would have to be Tuesday because that's when we first started working on this. So we talked about those rules then. And so anybody watching this needs to go watch the arithmetic of logarithms part one for a discussion of those rules and how they correlate with the exponent rules. All right, now I am just going to distribute So this is going to be 2 times log base B of P plus 7, oops, times log base B of Q minus 3 times log base B of M minus, I'm trying to go one step at a, at a time here, nine times log base B of B, but I'm not done. And that's because, what is this gonna be? Um, the identity, um, what do I call it? How about the log base B of B rule? That's a good one. Miss Barbara, Barbara, is that negative nine supposed to be a positive? No, thank you. Um, we distributed the minus sign and negative times positive is negative. So now it's negative. Makes sense. I hope it does. We could create a new math though, where it's not true. See how everything would change if we change that one little rule. That would be interesting. I have no intention of doing it because I don't have time, but you could do it. But, but that's okay, you don't really have to. Okay, now log, so our answer is going to be log base b up uh, two times log base b of p plus seven times log base b of q minus three times log base b of m minus nine times log base b of b, log base b of b equals one. So this is nine times one. So our answer, our final answer, is going to be two times log base b of p. Of course, you could put some of these steps together, but I just want to keep them separate um, so that people watching this will maybe understand what I'm doing. There. Now, in my opinion, that's my answer. Of course, we will have to check. Okay. Oh, that's what we're doing right there. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now. Let us expand this. Yes, log, 
log, 2 log base b of p plus 7 log base b of q minus 3 log base b of m minus 9. Okay. You have to go very slowly. I would recommend it first. Do lots of separate steps and then as you get used to it, combine your steps so that it won't take that many steps. You know, you'll do maybe two different steps in the same line. Maybe. I don't know. I think it's safer to keep steps apart. Yeah, me too. OK, now. Number 12. There it is. Express in terms of sums and differences, and we can see what the answer is here. OK, so they're expanding it a lot. OK, so number 12. We're going to have the LN of 2 over 9 x to the 9 y, which is y to the 1. OK, so first we're going to do the quotient rule. That's right. Because it's a quotient, fractions are automatically division problems. So we're going to have the ln of 2 minus the ln of 9x to the ninth y. Now this is a product 9 times x to the 9 times y. So we're going to be plussing in here so what we have to do is put a bracket around this just to keep it separate. Because in the end, we're going to be putting our minus sign, distributing the minus sign into there like we did up there. So we're going to have the ln of 2 minus bracket, the ln of 9 plus the ln of x to the ninth power. Plus the ln of y. And so ln of 2. Um, I want to do this first minus the ln of 9 plus, I have to bring that power down in front there, 9 times the ln of x. Uh, 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 uh. Plus the ln of y. And I am going to put down my reason. Um, ln of 2. Now I'm going to distribute the negative sign. There are three terms in here. 1, 2, 3. So I'll have to distribute the minus sign 1, 2, 3 times. Minus the ln of 9. Minus 9 ln x. Plus, uh, uh, minus the ln of y. 
And so going to blue, we use the quotient rule. And we use the product rule. And we use the power up. Uh, uh, yeah, the power rule. And we use distribution. So now let's see what their answer is. Of course, we know we're really right. I'm joking. Okay, yeah, the ln of two right there, minus the ln of nine, minus nine times the ln of x, minus the ln of y. They're not careful to use parentheses, but I am. Okay. Discussion. Stop me for discussion at any point if you need to. Or if you want to. Okay. Okay. All right, now, this is interesting. This is number 13. I shouldn't have done that, should I? There it is, you little stinker. Okay, the log of the square root of a to the fourth times b. First thing I have to do, you always want to think of peeling an onion. You've got to go from the outside in. So this is going to be log a to the fourth times b to the one half power. Because square root and one half power are the But now we can use um, the power rule. So let's do that. One half times. Miss Barbara, where did you get the one half? I'm confused on that part. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, the square root of a number equals that number raised to the one half power. These are just ways of saying the same thing. Should have done it in blue. Otherwise, it looks like it's going to be part of the problem. Square root and one half power are exactly the same. Just like back here, where we had the fourth root of three. Well, the fourth root of three is the same thing as three to the one fourth power. So that's how we brought one fourth down in front of ln of three. It's just a different way of writing the same thing. 
What were you going to say? I was like, gotcha. Okay. But thank you for saying that because it made me make another note for other people who forgot that. All right, so we're going to have one half times the log of a to the fourth times b. And so the one half power came down. Now, this is one half times log of a to the fourth times b. So let's move down here a little bit, give ourselves more room. This is going to be one half of log of a to the fourth times b because this is a product. This is a to the fourth times b. So now I'm going to use the product rule. Now let's see, this yeah, this was the power rule up here. Power rule. And in a minute, I'm going to use the product rule. There now, that's the power rule. No, it's not, it's product rule. All these guys start with P, it's the product rule. Now I'm going to use the power rule again. No, no. I'm going to take the power of four and bring it down in front like that. So we will have one half time. All right, one half is out outside of the bracket. Four log a plus log b. Um, right, that was the power rule. Now I'm going to distribute. And here's what I'm going to distribute. Um, I'm going to take one half and distribute it in there and in there. So, we'll have one half times four log A plus one half times log of B. Now, one half times four is two. So our final answer should be two log A plus one half log B. Yeah. All right. So we distributed, and then I don't know, should I call that something? I don't think so. One half times four, you would have to multiply those. Okay, and here was our original problem right there. Oh, 
Oh, right. Different. Different. Never mind. I won't write on it. It's too much trouble. Ah! Oh, okay. All right. Don't get upset. Number 14 is next. It's okay, Miss Barbara. Silly computers. <sighs> ha! Yes, I like your philosophy. Number 14. Number 14. Log base C. That is not low enough. But it is lower here, so. Log base C of the fourth root of x to the third over y to the fourth times z to the ninth. Okay, this is not really any different from what we've been dealing with. So we're gonna go step by step again. This is going to be log base c of x to the third over y to the fourth times c to the ninth to the one fourth power. And that will be, I guess I should put the equals out here. So this is going to be, we're going to take this and move it down front, one-fourth times log base C of all this stuff, x to the third over y to the fourth times C to the ninth. So we've got a quotient, then we've got a product. We're going to have to do a lot of stuff with this. So this one fourth is times all of this. So I better put brackets. So that'll be one fourth. times log base C of x to the third minus log base C of y to the fourth z to the ninth. Oh goodness. Okay. Want to get picky and go back to pre-algebra where you technically learned all this stuff? Sure. Okay. You were taught it sometime in the past. Where should I put this? Sometime in the past. Here's a note up here. That sometimes you have to use embedded um, parentheses, and that when you do, it's a good idea to change the shape. So outer parentheses are written as braces. Then the next inner parenthesis 
this way. And then the most inside parenthesis is written that way. Now I have no idea what to do if there are even more, but it seems to me that that is precisely what I am going to have to do for a few minutes because of the following and you will see. Log base C, I haven't had to do this in years of X to the third, minus bracket log base C of Y to the fourth, Z to the ninth, close parentheses, close bracket, close braces. Okay. Now we've got one fourth brace log base C of X to the third minus bracket, yeah, log base C. This is a product, Y to the fourth times C to the ninth. So we're going to have log base C of Y to the fourth plus log base C of Z to the ninth parenthesis bracket brace. Well, all right, equals. Now I have to decide what I'm going to do next. And I think what I'm going to do is this. I am going to use the power rule and bring all of these powers down in front. So here, here, and here. So I'll have inside the braces, three log base C of X minus bracket. I'm going to do this before I distribute the minus sign. Four log base C of Y plus nine log base C of Z bracket brace. All right, now what comes next? I'm going to distribute the negative sign here and here. So that's going to actually get rid of my brackets. Oh. All right, so we have one fourth brace, three log base C of X minus four log base C of Y. Now I've got minus times plus is minus. Nine log base C of C. And now in one more step, I'm going to get rid of the braces and we won't have anything more like that. I have to distribute the one fourth now, multiply it by that three, multiply it by the four, multiply it by the nine, or the I should say the negative four and negative nine, but 
That's really being picky. Okay, so one fourth times three, log base C of X, minus one fourth times four, log base C of Y, minus. Is that a negative four, Miss Barbara? For the negative four? Yeah, I just kind of snuck the one fourth in there. Uh, but what I could do, what I could do that might not mess up people, I hope, is say minus four and then times one fourth. I could stick the one fourth in there. And then minus nine then and then take the one fourth and put it in here. <coughs> Log base C of Z. Ha! Huh, almost done, but not quite. One fourth times three is three fourths log base C of X minus four times one fourth is one. So this is just going to be log base C of Y. Now four times one fourth of course is one, but one times log base C of Y is just log base C of Y. And Nine times one fourth is nine fourths log base C of Z. Oh my goodness, that took almost a whole page, and I haven't written my reasons. So let me go back and write my reasons first before I check the answer. I can't wait. 3 fourths log base C of X minus log base C of Y minus 9 fourths log base C of Z. Got it right. Okay. Or at least I can say my answer agrees with their answer. Could be we're both wrong in the same way, but let's not think in those terms. Okay, now this is Rational zero, irrational uh, exponent. Okay. Now this is taking the one fourth and bringing it down in front is the power rule. And now, this is the quotient rule, taking the numerator, log base C of the numerator minus log base C of the denominator. That's the quotient rule. Um, okay. Um, yeah, I'm getting ready for the <clears throat> for the product rule there. Um, and OK, this is where I went to braces and brackets and parentheses. Um, this we just s applied the product rule to this and got this. So that's the product rule. And uh, again, we use the power rule. Four comes down in front, nine comes down in front. So this is the power. Oh, and three comes down in front. So that's the uh, power rule. And 
getting ready for distribution. Here I distributed one fourth to all three terms. So distribution. And here I, I multiplied, but I mean, really, do I have to like write multiplication? I don't think so. Okay, now we are getting near the end. So let me see what else we are facing here. This this one is like that one. Ah, ah, this is an important trick. 16 and 17, they are important. Let's jump to 16 and 17. Sixteen. You're going to be using this trick a good bit. The very last day we cover new material. Log base T of T to the fifth. So I'm going to use the power rule, bring the five down in front. Five log base t of t and we're now going to use this wonderful identity and i'm pretty sure that that's what it's called uh, that log base t of t when the base and the argument are identical um this is a one So this is going to be five. So let's see, this is the power rule. Okay, um, this is gonna be log base T of T equals one. And then the answer is five. See I, how, I, I love that. I love it. Yes, I do. And now 17. Where we've got, and you are definitely going to be using this. 17. The ln of e to the 2x. Is go, I'm going to go out sideways, is going to be 2x times the ln of e. But this is so cool. That's going to be 2x times log, log base e of E. I don't need that, but anyway, um, LN is just log base E, so this is log base E of E, and here the E and the E are matching, so we'll have 2x times 1, which is 2x. This equals one. Yay! So, something to memorize so you don't have to go to that step is just that the ln of e is one. And it's true. The ln of e equals one. And we're going to use that rule over and over and over again. Now let's see what else is in store for us. 
Mm -hmm. And we're going to use it again here too. We're going to go to a rational power. And all right, we've got number 18. Log base R of the sixth root of R. Well, that's going to equal log base R. Of, of R to the one sixth power, which is going to be one sixth times log base R of R. And here we go. Log base R of R equals one. So this is one sixth times one, which is one sixth. 